in darkness. I shall be light. Times of doubt. I shall keep faith. of rage. I shall hone my craft. In vengeance, I shall have no mercy. No fear. descended from the sky. The chapter master, Gabriel Angelos, defied the Inquisitor's blockade and came to the aid of House Varlock. Rise! We have hawks to kill! For the Emperor! The Inquisitor was not pleased. The orcs have been driven out. We've been fighting them with 
without reprieve for so long. I thought these were our last days. You fought valiantly, enduring this. Your call for aid should not have gone unanswered. Nonetheless, my house and I owe you Space Marines a great debt. Battlefield, planet Cyprus was littered with the wreckage of the armies and war machines that had contended there. To most, it was a scarred wasteland. But for the orcs, it was a rich bounty of valuable scrap. The orc Gorguts came to Cyprus to avail himself of these riches and pledged his allegiance to one of the local war bosses. But few believed that he would be satisfied being a servant for very long. Yield our allegiance! And the gun works good! Too good if you ask me. Gretchen! Before we hand this off to Dick Stomper, I need you to make some modifications. Okay! The Eldar warlord, Kai, was obsessed with the prophecy of Cain, and sent his army to Cyprus to await the re-emergence of the wandering world. But Kaya's army met unexpected resistance from the local orcs. Kaya sent the Farseer Maka to assist his forces. Based upon her organ rules, Maka did not trust the prophecy. Sinister forces at work. Jokes on you, Eldar! I've got a nasty surprise for ya! Fire! Thank you, Chopper! Gorgas here! Consider yourself backstabbed! Gorgas! That sneaky devil pie! We prevail and the field is secure. Our hope was that killing this war boss would destabilize the orcs. However, this Gorguts that orchestrated the deed is already poised to replace him. To gain here. I follow the orders of our leader, Kaya, to kill you. Tell your cowering lord this. The Spear of Cain reeks of deceit. No one, including him, will touch it so long as I live. Their fates seemingly intertwined. Maka and Angelos faced each other, their history lingering between them. Once they had been allies, 
an entente that was split by betrayal, and now, on this day, they were enemies. Maka under orders from Kaya to kill Angelus. But the battle was to be short-lived and inconclusive. For on that day, at the same time as they struggled, Acheron, the wandering world of the Eldar prophecy, emerged from the warp after 5,000 years. Acheron's arrival rained fiery debris on Cyprus. And as an errant spire impacted between them, Farseer Maka came to understand that she was now part of larger events that were unfolding around her. These events would spill the blood of legions and would yet have a role for Gabriel Angel. Gorgas forced us to fight to the foot of his throne. Be on your guard, Farseer. Leave the talking to me. <laughs> you got some backbone coming here. Speak quickly before I kill you. Just ahead. What is that? In the ice? This is it. The shadow in my vision. A demon! It stirs! It's only a matter of time until it wakes! All the more reason to seize the spear and slay it. We can banish the shadow together. But I need Taldir to preserve our unity. 
We've imprisoned enough warriors for supporting you as it is. Continuing this war will surely awaken this creature. If you're set on staying this course, I must choose rebellion. You choose treason. So be it. Touching that spear. Not while I live. What about the sacrifices made to get here? The lives lost! That blood is on your hands. I suppose it's time to collect my winnings. Poor guys! This isn't over! Together, we can finally see. Farseer Maka divined that the prophecy and the spear and the entire enterprise were an elaborate trap. Even then, the Spear of Cain, for which so much blood had been spilled, lay within reach of those that sought it. Gorguts arrived first, but Kaya challenged him. And in a swift battle, vanquished him. Ascendant victory. The trap was sprung on Kai, and it was his blood that was spilled by the spear. It was not the weapon of an Eldar god, but a trinket to lure us like lambs to a blood sacrifice, a ritual to revive an ancient evil and unleash him from the ice. Released from dormancy and then gorged with blood, the demon arose. These spires strengthen the demon's influence and disrupt my divinations. But we can't destroy the spires and hold the Nexus simultaneously. to defeat the demon, but I need someone to topple the Dark Spires. Last time I held you, your boy Ronnie sold me out. But I delivered your epic war. The same promise I extend to you now. Fine, but only because Bailey Kaya was amazing! The Nexus does its work. The Shroud is lifted. The threads of fate are unraveled and the future finally clear. We're cut off, but we must fight on. I sensed you might show before the end. There is but one way to win this team, but it will demand a sacrifice from you. I don't spend my brother's likes lightly, Eldar. I know, 
But to overcome evil, you have always done what you must. I have seen it. Your ship must destroy this world. Come, Gorguts! To the epic final fight I promised! May none find us wanting! You are needed for one last battle, Angelus. of the ship shattered the mantle of Acheron, smashing it into a multitude of fragments. Those that did not find means to escape perished. Though reduced in stature, the demon was not killed. Core of his dominion remain. My brothers. I sense some escaped, but our concern is the demon. He is here, and we must destroy him. Aren't we? You mean us, as a team? The wayfarers must unite for victory. It is written. Defeated and the prophecy broken, the Alliance was dissolved, and the Wayfarers went their separate ways. Please stop what me put a stick. 